My name is Kevin Douglasberg. This is What Was I Saying Blog KDB. I'm here to provoke thought in the community just a little bit. Um, what's happened at the uh, Updale with the shooting, they want to discuss um, violence in society. Violent games, a violent this, violent that, cinema. It's, it's, we've been down this road before, a long time ago. Actually, Twisted Sister was in front of the Senate. Judas Priest was in front of the Senate. Suicide Solution, that song. There were people taking their lives after they did particular things or interacted with particular media and it was trying to put a, a causality that that's why they took their life. That's why they did this. That's why they did that. Slippery slope, folks. Slippery slope. Because then you get into censorship. Then you get into regulations from the government. Then you get into restricting certain media of certain type because of this, that, and the other. Here's the thing, though. I listened to Suicide Solution. I played video games that were kind of violent. I mean, now the violence is insane, but but I got it. Let's take it all the way back. In the Bible, Inquisition, Genghis Khan, Mao Zedong. It, it, you know, history has had slaughters, and we studied them. We studied from this reason or that reason because it helped, uh, you know, it evolved from something else. Because that's a society, like, went on with it. It was different ages, right? So, there's always been torture. There's always been some kind of suffering. There's always been some kind of violence. There's always been... Violence in the background, there always been people who do evil acts. Take it back again. All right, so in the 80s, 80s, late 90s, they go, mature audiences only. I remember it's getting quiet riot. I was in the line with my mom, National Record Mart. It said, <laughs> mature audiences only. And my mom flips it over, and one of the songs was, she's a bitch. And my mom's like, hmm. She's a bitch. Hmm. I'm like, I'm getting it for Come On, Feel the Noise. Not that song. But there you go. What they found is when they did that, the sales went up. Bad publicity is still publicity, which means it's more marketing, more word of mouth, more of people saying things of your whatever product you have. That and talk about that would supposedly mature audiences only. They get in the movie theater too. Only thirteen above mature audiences only. This has swearing. This has duty. This is this. This is that. Hey, I grew up swearing nudity. You know, I watch horror movies. I played video games. I listened to Ozzy. I listened to ACDC. I listened to Twisted Sister. I listened. The thing is, it really goes back, and I studied this in college. It really goes back to your values, what you think, what you know, what you get taught. I mean, in um. I just make sure my class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in way back when they used to have a, a gun like gun classes kids would bring their guns in and you know they would do that in the 50s 60s whatever 40s whatever that was part of growing up the thing that we have gone off the rocker with is really it's it's Glorified violence. 
I'll just give you an example. One time I just flipped on the TV, right? I haven't looked at TV in like five years, so I flipped it on. And I'm on a regular news station, a regular station. I don't know what the show was. <laughs> they crucify somebody. And then they stab the person, go around, and like drink the blood out of them. And I'm like, what in the fuck did I just watch? And if it has to be this shocking, if it has to be this in your face, and I've never seen this series before, I've never heard of this series before, I just flipped it on at that time. I I turned it off, and it had an effect on me, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, it had an effect on me. Yeah, it, it would shock me to the core. Let's bring back another one. To stop what you don't like because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that, because of this, because of that, leads to when does it stop? Like, what's the identif identification of pornography? Well, I'll know it when I see it. What's the identification of, of violence? And <laughs> the, 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 like, what do you call it? The, um, the point of view, like shootings and everything, and you can play a mass murderer, and you can do this and do that, whatever. Yeah, that has really gone off the rocker. And the problem is that you glorify violence so much. You glor I mean, like, way back when, the honeymooners, you know, they never got in bed together, whatever. Um, and now, I, I flipped out the TV, and someone's crucifying somebody, and other people are drinking the blood. And what has been is like, what's the shock factor? What's the shock factor? We got a shock factor up. The problem is, as our technology gets more convoluted with AI, with headsets, with uh, uh, motions, and you're in there, um, they even looked at smells, no doubt. Uh, no joke. Um, they couldn't do it right now, anyways. But. There is a divergence of reality to not reality, and those that are troubled, those, nope, let's pray. Heard a siren. First time to my channel, anytime you hear a siren, I believe in energy, you believe in energy, if you believe in energy, do a little prayer. Give them the wherewithal to have to do what they need to do. Um, a little prayer for people going back and forward. A little prayer for the person or persons that suffering an incident. And make a change. Possibly. Like a miracle. Okay. So, a person is demented. A person was not raised right. A person has evil in their soul. There are people who have evil in their soul. That's it. Evil people exist. But let's say they were just going down the wrong path and they thought, wow, that was cool what they did, whatever. Like on some stupid video or something or a stupid video game. Just because they did that, you can't censor you can't start censorship because when you start censorship, it gets to what is your view of censorship, what is not. Like, if you watch my channel, I say fuck all the time. Maybe some people would say, yeah, I don't want to watch you because you swear. That's fine. That's fine. But if you censor me, you don't even hear any of my story. None. And I do swear because it is implicit in the story for the kind of story I want to um, project to you through my performance. So that person is not right in the head, right? And they see something and uh, got weapons at home. Mom and dad got weapons. So he grabs a gun and does whatever. Or a girl grabs a gun, does whatever. No matter what kind of laws you are going to put on things like that, 
like I said in the promo, uh, not promo, um, we have a very high suicide. <laughs> we have a suicide crisis in this in this country, and we have a mental health crisis in this country. So everybody goes back to the guns, the guns, the guns, the guns, the guns. If someone wants to do evil, they don't care about the weapon per se. They don't care about the weapon. The the tendency is in their soul that they want to do it. They don't care what access to what. So then you censor people, just blatantly just censor them. Or censor their creative, whatever they do. You know, if you start censoring stuff, you are legal. I mean, you are you're stopping growth. You're really stopping growth, especially in this time and age. I know the the, the video games are really gory and, and graphic, but so is the Bible. But so are the Vikings. But so was the, you know all the different ages. I used to watch Excalibur. Look that up. <laughs> That's horribly violent on Showtime when I grow, grew up. It is what you do, the environment you grew up in, the values you hold and you place, and the mental state. Yes, you can be triggered. Absolutely. People can be triggered. But other people are never triggered. So... The biggest murder rates are in the highest uh, areas that have the most, the most, uh, the most weapons, the most gun laws, the most restricted gun laws. Why? Criminals don't care. Someone doing evil does not care what they see, what they watch, what they do, what they act. Sometimes evil is just inherent. People are born with it. There is no rhyme, there is no reason, there is no this, there is no that. I spoke of my best friend growing up. It is his anus act. Promo. Um, don't want to tell the story. No effing around. If someone wants to do harm to someone else, they don't need to watch anything. They don't need to see anything. They don't need to do anything. They don't need to incorporate any media into them to want to do that evil. To want to do the evil. Censorship gets more marketing. Censorship gets more talking. Censorship gets more articles, more blogs, more up, more notices because, oh, it's censored now. i got to go look at it. It's just like you have you have a good experience, you tell five people. You have a horrible experience, you tell 10, 20, maybe 30. It's just the way it works. My name is Kevin Dogsberg. I really appreciate you joining me. And what was I saying about KDB? We break it down in prayer. Pray for you, pray for me, pray for those coming and going. Pray for those that are playing training on mobile. Pray for those that are in and out of hospital wanting a better day. Pray for those that are in the medical field, all first responders, anybody in uniform, all policemen, police women, anybody who has served is serving or fighting with PTSD post-serving. Pray for you and me, world peace. Watch out for more cycles there around. Um, you and me, world peace. Let's move from the just a little bit. Kevin out. You guys are the best. Hey. I can't, even, I can't even tell you how awesome I feel when I'm doing this. Thank you so much.